Hi Park View students and parents, my name is Kelly Almond and I'm the Science Department Chair. My goal today is to give you a very brief overview of our ninth grade science course, Biology, as well as the various levels of the biology courses that we offer to our freshmen here. And finally, some information that I hope will help you and your child choose the most appropriate level of the course so that he or she is on the best pathway to success as the transition from middle school to high school begins. The traditional ninth grade science course at Parkview is biology. We have three different levels of introductory biology open to our students, college prep or CP, honors, and gifted. Now there are a myriad of factors that should be considered when choosing one of these biology levels. These factors include the student's math placement, the physical science teacher's recommendation, the rigors of each level, as well as the work ethic of the student. Please keep in mind that when choosing a course level, that honors biology is not easier than gifted biology. Our honors and gifted students will take the same assessments and learn the same content with the same degree of depth and rigor. The difference in the two levels involves the instructional approach, as well as whether a student has tested into the gifted program. So our students that are testing into the gifted program will go into gifted biology rather than honors biology. And these gifted sections will be taught by gifted certified teachers who really specialize in the instructional strategies to meet the needs of our gifted learners. When choosing a course level, it's very important to remember the math level. For our CP biology students, the math co-requisite is Algebra 1 or a higher math such as Geometry. And for our honors and gifted students, the recommended math co-requisite is Geometry or an accelerated Geometry. A second factor to consider when choosing the course level is the recommendation of the 8th grade physical science teacher. This teacher has worked with the student year long and is very equipped to make the decision as to whether the student is better suited for college prep biology or the honors and gifted biology. I urge you to truly go with the recommendation of the physical science teacher. Now, when you are choosing a level, it's very important to make sure you're aware of the expectations of each course. So for our CP biology students, they're expected to master the topics that are covered in the AKS without any honors and gifted extensions. And because there are no honors gifted extensions built into the curriculum at this level, the content doesn't have to be covered at such a fast pace. And the slower pacing means students get more practice during class over a longer period of time with teacher support to ensure mastery of the content is attained. There's more in-class practice, but there will be homework two to three nights a week. The homework is typically around 10 minutes and will involve the student reviewing notes, reading in the textbook, completing any classwork that wasn't finished in class, and short practice assignments. The instructional approach for college prep is more teacher-centered with direct instruction using notes and lecture, problem-solving activities, and labs. The labs can be inquiry-based at times um, when it's appropriate for the curriculum, but there's much more support from the teacher when those inquiry-based labs and activities are introduced. At the honors and gifted level, students are expected to not only master the biology AKS, but also the honors and gifted extensions that are built into the curriculum. So this means students are actually going to learn more in-depth material, increasing the rigor and depth of knowledge that students are expected to master. So with more content to cover means there's going to be a faster pace and students must be able to master content quickly as something new is going to be taught each day. Now there will be homework most nights at the honors and gifted level and students need to be able to manage their time and expect multiple long-term inquiry based projects and labs. Students at this level should expect more of an inquiry based approach. They will regularly design and conduct their own investigations. They'll collect and analyze data and they'll communicate their findings through lab reports and other means. These lab investigations and activities at this level are really there to help students identify the scientific principles and concepts that are to be learned. Teachers really act as the facilitator and help summarize with students what they should have gleaned from these activities. At the CP level, summative assessments, 
um, should will include a, both a multiple choice and a free response section. A free response format involves students communicating what they have learned in a written form. And on our summative assessments, which is a unit test, uh, application is really emphasized over memorization. And the same is true of the honors and gifted levels. The summative assessments will include both a multiple choice and a free response section. And again, application is emphasized over memorization. How do you make sure that your student is prepared for a particular level? Well, there are certain things that need to be considered. For our CP biology students, they are really more extrinsically motivated and require more teacher support where critical thinking is involved. Um, these students are those who really need support in learning to be more self-directed and independent as the year progresses. With our honors and gifted students, they already come into the course with the ability to think critically and they're more intrinsically motivated. The teacher is really there to work to continue to develop the critical thinking skills. Also, our honors and gifted students exhibit a high degree of independence and ability to manage their time. They have to be able to manage nightly homework, long-term assignments, set deadlines in conjunction with their extracurricular activities. I hope this video has provided you with the information and guidelines that you needed in order to make an informed decision about the proper biology placement for your child. Should you have more questions or simply need some guidance, feel free to contact me. I look forward to working with you and your Parkview Panther for years to come.